Hey guys, how are you all going? Um, just trying something new today. How do you guys like this layout? Do you guys enjoy? Does it look good to you guys? Love to hear what your thoughts about this. I've been playing around with the graphic of uh, this background. So, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, but it's also, have you guys been having a lot of problems trying to find um, opponents recently over this last like week or so? It's been a whole a lot longer to get an opponent and just find it ourselves just waiting for this. <laughs> I mean, check this out. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about the little background graphic uh, that I've made. And I'd love to see if you guys want to see more of this. Do you guys like this? Um, if I am to do more of this, it might just be uh, once a day. And if I do more videos than that, it'll probably be the old way. So, love to hear what you guys think. This is taking ages. And uh, I know once it gets to about what, two minutes, you get a bot. Um, for high levels in area. There's my opponent. So hopefully hopefully it's not a bot. Um, I want to play proper people and have fun. And wow, this is a very interesting deck. Um, three one MP Pokemon. Uh Latias, Mew and Mega Genga. So this is gonna be very interesting. Um I gotta respect the Latias and the Mickey Ginga though, so since it's my turn first, I do. He's got no Coco, so because he's got no Coco, I could rush up, but he's also got Latias, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. So, and straight away he's coming out with that Mickey Ginga, so I need to get another Defender out and out, and Toad is my best one. I uh, have 50% of chance to dodge, and also Mickey Ginga Ginga have a big chance to. Uh, to dodge and purple themselves so hopefully that's enough to defend I've got a gold rock in this deck just for things like this hopefully I get a gold on purple Ooh, that would have been good <laughs> that would have been good um, but now this is going to give me a chance to there on go and defend and also put a little attack on my own since he's already well that's why I didn't do this in the beginning um, but yeah, that was, that's absolutely horrible. Alright, so now I'm going to have to defend a whole lot more. And, oh, what am I going to defend with? Gengar? So I can Mega Gengar if I need? I think that's the best option. Um, I'm not going to be surprised with the way he's rushing. Probably send out a Mew rush down at Gengar and attack. Um, I think that'll probably be what he will do. Um, he seems to be just wanting to rush down on me. And if he went down and attacked with that last year, so just, oh, he's doing it. So if he takes this out, I'm going to be in trouble. I need to go back to my Gengar. But, okay, I've got, I've got the good old poison. So what I'm going to do now is just set up a little surround. And make it so I can jump over Latias. Latios. Latios, if I need to. To get rid of him, I'll take that Vanish any day. Any time you get a Latios uh, removal chance, you should take it. So he's, okay. so he's pretty good defending against that, but he's also got a little bit of a Mega Genga trap set up. So he can Mega Genga go and take out my Toad, but the bad thing is if he tries to do that, I'm just going to step over that Latias and remove it, and I'll still better have a chance to defend. So I don't think he'll do that, he's surely going to bring down his Mew. No, he's going for it. So I'm happy as with this. Um, the worst thing that's going to happen if he rolls damage constantly and then who my defenders are roll constantly but I've got two tries to, to defend this at the moment so goodbye Latios um, not a good surround so <laughs> Riley if you're watching you yeah definitely need to, need to watch out for that because I am going to school you with my Gengar and Toad um, I get the toxic that's fine I'm happy to get poison I've still got my Mega Gengar to pull out and you can tell this guy is still fairly new to well, to Lee Legends, because he could have easily stepped over and attacked the Mega Gengar. That would have saved him at least one more turn before I could get out and do more surrounds, maybe with Zapdos. Um, but 
yeah, I'm just going to go head on up. Tarakian is a fairly good matchup. He's only got 101 on that thing. Oh. And that's a good matchup for me. That's pretty 50 50 for me. So I'll definitely take Mew and ho just hold his other, um, hold his other uh, entry ransom. So if I can hold that ransom, then that'll be good. Then. Just so he can't get any mon out of it. And if he does, uh, if he moves, then I can take it. But Venusaur is coming out and. Now that is exciting for me. Um, someone running a Venusaur when they don't run something poison themselves. And then they've got my Gengar poisoned at the moment, but I can always Mega Gengar out of that. Um, but if I can get my Toad out, I'm definitely going to be max, max reviving that Toad and just running up the board trying to poison everything off his. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Mega Venusaur as well. He's just going for it. He's just going to town. Like. Wow. <laughs> wow. Alright. So, I, I, yeah. I, I, the best I could have hoped for there was, like, getting noxious or, or getting, um, getting a blue, a protect. Um, but he's got all his one EMP mods up. Mega Venusaur's too. But I'll take that Thunder Charge. I'll definitely take that Thunder Charge. So. What do I want to do? I think it's best to get Coco out just for now. Get a little swap spot set up. And if this guy's as new as he is, he will have to. He might might even fall for that. So if, if I can get a blue or purple now, he's. Uh, uh, there goes my swap spot uh, chances. <laughs> um, but I, I normally don't just go for those obvious swap spots chances. But because he's already showing that he's been super aggressive. I thought, well, I may as well, and if I can roll a purple blue, I can take it. So he's going to get defend back with his Venusaur. Now this is good. He's got three 1 MP mons on the board, one mon removed. So I'm just going to move on up. If he attacks into me and gets one of his 100 or his 30, um, I can potentially get my 110. So it's a pretty risky. If I get 99, he's well, what, two, two thirds of his wheel will take me out. But if he doesn't, if I get my 110, I'll take out two thirds of his wheel. So, what I want to do now, I'm just bringing up Toad, and I want to go after those 1 MP Mons, and I want to try and take them out. So, we'll see if I can do that, we'll see if, if, if I'm able to just start poisoning them all. So I'm happy even with that, him moving Mons off the board, that's fine. I just want to go up, I want to attack with Toad, I want him to dodge, or me to dodge, or go purple. And then I'll use my, wow, just moving on right over, so that's, oh, even I'm happy with that, he's got nothing surround me. He doesn't have a max revive or a scoop up, so oh, the miss. So I'll, I'll definitely take that miss right there. Um, if, well, if he gets a dodge, I'll take that and his mono zero MP. I also had so much fun when I was running my poison deck, uh, making mons zero MP. And I even tried uh, Venusaur in this deck in place of Terrakian, if you guys haven't seen that. I put that up a little while ago. But, Manipulative, okay, so he's got his own Venus, or he can move, nothing else, but, oh no, my, nothing else, Bulu, Bulu is something else, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm not even going to bother waking Bulu up just yet, I'm going to turn this guy into a 0 MP one as well, boom, <laughs> and now, so, the funny thing about this is, he can move me again, he can put me to sleep, or he can uh, move his Venus, or, um, but he gets the poison, he gets to move something, so, uh, oh no. Okay, so he chooses not to, that's, that's interesting. So I get the dodge on the of the sun, I'll definitely take that. <laughs> I'm gonna go wake up Bolu right about now, and then I'm just gonna keep away from his 0 MP mons, and <laughs> he's gonna be struggling with uh, 1 MP Venusaur, and I'm just going to move things out of the way, get everything out of my way, walk around the board of Toad, and now he's gonna walk around the board with his Venusaur, and if he turtles back there, he's going to be in some trouble, his only hope is to walk out at me, but then I can also, oh, gold block, okay, well that saves me the time walking around the back of the board, um, I'm just going to move up one, not moving over two, because I don't want to let that mega Metagross attack me, and what this is going to allow me to do, I can move straight over for that Venusaur, make it so Venusaur can't touch anything else but Toad, and if I go defensive, even if he puts me to sleep, it doesn't matter because Coco's sitting right there and I can move him away. And he's going to be stuck with zero MP ones. 
<laughs> and if if I don't knock him out, I just don't want to knock him out. Because if I knock him out, then that's gonna be game. But wait on the Venusaur, <laughs> wait win. There we go. Nothing you can do. And guys, this is why you don't run Venusaur. Um, <laughs> screenshot there because it's just so funny. Um, this is why you don't run Venusaur, as well as other 1MP mons, but also when you don't have a poison deck. Complete no no. Um, Alright, I'm just going to kick off this booster, and after that, let's see if we get anything from this gold. Hopefully, get an EX rare, I'll take a Lilligan, definitely better than an Uncommon or Sonic I don't want. Lilligan is fairly good, and I don't mind leveling my one up. So. There we, there we have it. Let's open up my uh, three boxes, boosters, uh, dailies for the day. Um, wheel, okay, this could be good. Can I get another 70? That'll be amazing. Um, but, boom, I'll take 30. I'll definitely take 30. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, that's already topped off another video. That's a hundred gems recently. That's that's amazing. Ha hardly get gems. Boom! Some more. I'll take those. So another forty gems today. So that's a decent haul of gems. So that's put me over the top. I've got five hundred gems. Wow. I want to be ready for another another pack opening. Maybe I'll save it to the next banner. Um, but thank you all for watching. And if you learn anything, don't use so many 180 MP mods. And if you've got a Venusaur, watch out for the toads, watch out for the poisons. That's, yeah, that's a dangerous thing about running Venusaur these days. Because um, people like me run toads. So I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway. I enjoyed that game. It was a whole lot of fun for me. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed something. Let me know what you guys think about this graphic, about it all. What, what, do, you guys, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, I can play with it a bit more, change, I think I might just change a bit of the background, mix it up depending on what the gyms are like or what the, what's happening in Duel. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. I always love to hear from you guys and yeah, enjoy. 